All right, covalent bonding. So recall that an ionic bond results from the combination of a metal and nonmetal. So ionic, metal, nonmetal. A covalent bond is a type of bond between two nonmetals. So covalent bond, two nonmetals. Metal, nonmetal, ionic, covalent, two nonmetals. Covalent bonds are formed by neutral atoms that share electrons rather than by charged ions. When a compound is formed by sharing electrons, the compound is called a molecule or a molecular compound. It is important to note that ionic compounds are not called molecules. Remember, they're called formula units. The largest class of molecules are called organic molecules. Carbon is the mark of an organic compound. So, which ones would be called molecules here? Let's look. H and O. H and O both nonmetals. Therefore, these would. This would be a molecule. Carbon and oxygen, nonmetals. Therefore, this would be a molecule. NaCl, Na is a metal. Therefore, not a molecule. MgP2, Mg is a metal. Therefore, not a molecule. N2O, all nonmetals. Therefore, it is a molecule. So, as long as it's two nonmetals, it's a molecule, two or more. So, now, when we name covalent compounds, and again, these are all just nonmetals, there are several prefixes that we use. Um, so let's say we have carbon and oxygen. We don't just call it carbon oxide because sometimes we could have two oxygens and sometimes we could have a single oxygen. So we use prefixes to name covalent compounds. So for example, N2O4, dinitrogen tetraoxide, SF6, sulfur hexafluoride, XeCl5, xenon pentachloride, SO3, sulfur trioxide, CO, carbon monoxide. So that's the names that we use for those different things. So now let's think about table. Let's, let's fill this table out, the prefixes and the numbers. Okay, and um, we're going to add some more to this, but let's, uh, let's add what we can, right? So, so I'm going to go ahead and say 2 right? Two is right here. Two nitrogen would be dinitrogen, so it'd be di. Three, find three right here. O3 would be trioxide, so it would be tri. Four, right here with the O, four is tetra. Five, five is with the Cl, penta. And then lastly, 6 is right here with the F, hexa. Um, I'm going to add some more to this, and you can add them any way you choose, but I'm going to add them here. 7 is hepta. 8, octa. 9, nothing really fancy here. No, na. And then lastly, I'll use 10, and that would be DESA, or DECA, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Either one's acceptable. So we got 1 through 10. So we know if we know a number, we know the prefix that goes with it. So here's how we name. We got N2O5. Okay, I have two nitrogens and five oxygens. So it's going to be di, nitro, ni Nitrogen, right, because there's two nitrogens. And then I have five oxygens. Five, penta, right? I go pentoxide. Now, if you put pentaoxide, it's not necessarily wrong. I don't like having two vowels in a row, and that's not how you should write. But if you put pentaoxide, I would not count it incorrect. So dinitrogen, pentoxide. Two nitrogens, five oxygens. All right, let's look here. CF4, C is carbon, and 4 is tetrafluoride, F-L-U-O-R-I-D-E. Now, some of you are probably asking, why didn't you not put mono in front of carbon? Okay, and here, if you look at some of these other examples, you got S by itself. You didn't say monosulfur hexafluoride. You didn't say monoxenon pentachloride, right? The only, the only word in a covalent compound or a molecular compound that doesn't have a prefix 
is if it's the first element and there's only one. You don't use a prefix. So carbon wouldn't be monocarbon, just be carbon. Otherwise, you're always going to have a prefix. And I'll show you an example of that here in a second. So let's do this one. We got sulfur in, C, in, in Cl3. So we got sulfur by itself, only one. We don't have to put a prefix if it's the first one. And then three chloride. So it's tri, C-H-L-O-R-I-D-E. -E. And now here's an example of your, uh, I got SNO. Sulfur oxide would be the way you'd want to say it, right? Sulfur I say, but now, since there's only one, that's when I use monoxide. So you only use mono if it's the second element. The first element, you do not have to put mono on there. All right, so those are the names. Which of the above compounds would be classified as organic? Anything with carbon? So it's just letter B, right? Or B, sorry, B, because that's the only one with carbon in it. Um, empirical formulas, that is something we will pick up at a later date. Uh, but I want to make sure that we have the covalent naming down. So please do, do, the, do the practice that goes along with this sheet, and we will pick it up from there. Thank you.